Welcome friends to our May 24th Sunday School session. Today we're going to be looking at the I am statement of Jesus where he says, I am the light of the world. Did you know that the Jewish people have a special holiday that is called the Feast of Booths? During this holiday, they actually build a booth in their backyards and they live in it for a week. It's a whole lot of fun and families visit with one another and have fun camping out for the week. Even though doing this is a lot of fun, they do it to remember some important things about who God is and how God loves and cares for us. Do you remember our first session when God spoke to Moses? Well, God kept talking to Moses as he led the Israelites out of slavery to Egypt. Moses and the Israelites wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. Now the whole time the Israelites were wandering around lost, God provided manna for them. Manna was like bread, but it fell from the sky and they could eat it and be nourished for their journey. Then they had enough. And at night when it was dark and they couldn't see their way, God provided a pillar of fire to guide them. For 40 years they wandered, making booths and temporary campsites. Their booths provided shelter, kind of like a tent, and the pillar provided the light that showed them where God was leading them. Finally, the Israelites reached the Promised Land. They were so relieved to finally get there and so thankful to God for being faithful to them that they wanted to be sure they always remembered how God was with them in the wilderness. They decided that one week each year they would celebrate by making booths or temporary tents and campsites to remind them of their journey in the wilderness. They wanted their children to know that God is always with us, that God shines a light in the darkness to show us the way. The Light of the World, John chapter 7 verse 2, chapter 14, chapter 8 verse 12. Jesus was going into town to celebrate the Feast of Booths, and it was the final night. As he walked by all the booths, hearing people laughing, sharing food, and having fun, he remembered all the years of doing this with his mom and dad, Mary and Joseph. He remembered seeing his aunts and uncles, cousins and friends, and all the fun they had together remembering that God is faithful and that God is with us. Jesus knew he was the Son of God, but this was hard for other people to understand. Knowing all of this, Jesus walked right up to where they were lighting the torches to remind the Israelites that God is light in the darkness, to remind them of how God had provided a pillar of light to lead the Israelites when they were lost in the wilderness. Jesus stood in front of the torches and proclaimed, I am the light of the world. The scripture that Mr. Myers just read for us took place in Jerusalem, which Jerusalem is right here on our map. So I want you to imagine all the people scattered all over with their booths and their fire campfires and singing and laughing and having a good time. Imagine what that might have sounded like and felt like and probably even smelled like since they would be cooking out. And it all happened right in here in Jerusalem. Now I'd like for you to practice with me a spiritual practice called breath prayer. And that means when you breathe in, I want you to think or say, Jesus says. And when you breathe out, you're going to think or say, I am the light of the world. So let's practice. Breathe in. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Breathe in, Jesus says. Breathe out, I am the light of the world. That's a spiritual practice you can take with you as we continue on our journey with the I am statements of Jesus. Now that you've heard the story of the Israelites wandering in the desert for 40 years with the manna as their food and a pillar of fire as their light, and then you heard about the celebration of the booths where they remember that time every year and give thanks to God and where Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Now it's your turn to respond to the story. You have several options. One would be to take Legos or blocks or any kind of building materials you have 
and maybe you can build one of the booths with your Legos, or you can build what would look like a tower of uh, fire. All kinds of things from the story that you could build with. And another option would be to make a pine cone bird feeder. This would show us how God took care of the people as they were in the wilderness and how we could be taking care of the wilderness around us and the birds. So take your pine cone, you take peanut butter or Crisco or yogurt or anything that is kind of sticky and you coat the pine cone with your sticky substance first and then you can roll it in bird seed and when you put a piece of yarn on it then you can hang it up. I have one that's already made so you can see what it can finally look like. They look pretty cool and the birds will absolutely love them. Another thing you can do to help celebrate the festival of the booths and the saying of Jesus, I am the light of the world, is to create your own booth in your backyard. I took a card table and a sheet, put it over it to make it like a booth. I pulled in my little electric campfire because they would have had campfires going during their festival. If you wanted to, you could bring out a flashlight and you could have the flashlight as a part of the light to bring in during your time in your booth. Now, just for fun, you might want to make s'mores over your campfire, and you can do this without having to actually use a fire by taking little Teddy Grahams, put them in a baggie, and then mixing in with it the miniature marshmallows. So you get the marshmallow part, and then mixing in with all of it miniature chocolate chips and you shake it up and mix it all together and you can have a bag of s'mores to enjoy in your booth around your campfire to celebrate the saying of Jesus I am the light of the world let's pray our closing prayer dear God we are thankful you are the God we can know you are with us here and everywhere we go. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.